What's up everybody, I'm Alan Zislowski and thanks for tuning back into Roster Watch. On this video, we're going to talk about three players who lost significant fantasy football value after the first round of the real NFL draft. First, we're going to talk about James Robinson, the running back on the Jacksonville Jaguars, who was one of the best stories of 2020. An undrafted free agent who started training camp as the RB4 on his own team. Roster Watch co-founder Byron Lambert was early to identify Robinson as a player we needed to roster in our dynasty leagues. Lambert visited Jaguars training camp last year and revealed that Leonard Fournette was either going to be traded or demoted. Byron Lambert alerted Roster Watch Nation two weeks before the mainstream sports media broke the story of Leonard Fournette being released by the Jacksonville Jaguars. The result was even better than predicted. James Robinson finished as a top five running back in fantasy football last season. Entering 2021 offseason, Robinson's lack of draft capital, along with the new coaching staff in Jacksonville, made him an obvious candidate to lose value. Early startup drafts and best ball leagues accounted for the risk, but probably not to the extent we likely should have. James Robinson survived free agency without a significant running back added to the room. But first round of the NFL draft? Different story. The Jaguars drafted Clemson running back Travis Etienne in the first round. This is not a death sentence to Robinson's fantasy value, but obviously he can no longer be projected as an RB1. He's better thought of of a poor man's Kareem Hunt, meaning a playable starter in your flex spot in your fantasy football league and is one injury away from a weekly 12 top ranking. Robinson is certainly the headliner for players who have lost value after round one. The second player we're going to talk about is Hayden Hurst, the tight end on the Atlanta Falcons. One of the more interesting draft narratives around Hayden Hurst was he famously was drafted ahead of Lamar Jackson on the same team, the Baltimore Ravens, a few seasons back. Hurst did not produce for the Ravens, but was considered an efficient, low-volume player who was traded last offseason to the Falcons for a second-round pick, significant draft capital. Hayden Hurst finished 2020 as the tight end 10, not a difference-making type of player for your team, but he certainly held the line and didn't sink your team either. Entering 2021, there was reason to be optimistic about Hayden Hurst from a fantasy perspective. New head coach Arthur Smith was a successful tight ends coach in Tennessee prior to him being a successful offensive coordinator in Tennessee. Smith understood how to use the tight ends and make them productive for fantasy, similar to what he did for Janu Smith. In the lead up to the NFL draft this season, it became clear that Atlanta was considering and eventually drafting Kyle Pitts, the elite tight end prospect out of Florida. Pitts profiles as a true difference maker and should immediately be the preferred tight end in the Falcons offense. Hurst goes from a late round player with upside to undraftable in most leagues, making him one of the players that lost the most fantasy value after round one. The third player I want to talk to you about is Cam Newton, the quarterback on the New England Patriots. Cam was going to be relevant in super flex leagues only. In your traditional start one QB format, Cam was always going to be a streamer or a waiver wire pickup. The 2021 first round could not have gone any better for the Patriots and worse for Cam Newton. They got the heir apparent to Tom Brady without having to trade up or give away any significant draft capital to do so. Roster Watch co-founder Byron Lambert identified Mac Jones as a first-round quarterback at the 2021 Senior Bowl. Lambert was singing Jones' praises as a professional prospect way before the Twitterverse caught on. Mac Jones profiles as a pro-ready prospect, cerebral player who can be plugged into the Patriots offense right away. Roster Watch expects Jones to be a starter in short order. Cam Newton goes from a low-end Superflex QB2 to being ranked with other non-starting QBs like Marcus Mariota and Mitch Trubisky. Okay, Roster Watch Nation, that's it for today. Remember to like and subscribe to get notifications when we put up new videos on the YouTube page. And leave us a comment in the video. We will comment back. Until next time, goodbye.